Hi guys, so today I will be doing my first tutorial and it will be on Pebbles Flintstone and this is kind of a glamorous look. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with my CoverGirl, my neutralizer, which is going to act kind of as my concealer today. I'm going to put that under my eye to brighten it up on the bridge of my nose, kind of all over my face and my red spots. And then I just pat and tap that in. Next is my MAC Prep and Prime Skin Fortifying Illuminator and I put that on on the bridge of my nose, the apples of my cheeks, and on my cheekbones. And I just rub that in. I want a little bit above my eyebrows and on my chin. And then I use my Too Faced Prime and Poreless Skin Primer and just put that on all over my face. Next with my Maybelline foundation in the color 210, I just put that on all over my face. Then with my Urban Decay D Slick, I just spray that on so my foundation and everything else won't move. And then I just spruce up my eyebrows, making sure they're even. And then I'm going to take that and just slightly curl my eyebrows. And then with my Goddess Wet n Wild bronzer, I'm going to take that and I'm going to contour. I'm going to contour with that little contouring brush, I guess that's what it is. The brush that came with it. I'm going to use that and just lightly pat it in and dust it off and apply right under my cheekbone. And make the little fishy face so you know where your cheekbones are. Now I'm going to take my blusher brush and blend that in, making sure you concentrate by your ear. And next, I'm going to contour my face, just applying that on the sides of my face, giving it some warmth under my jawbone and a little bit on my forehead and contouring with my nose just a little bit. Next with my blush from Flirt and Aloha, I just take that and I highlight my face, blending everything together, making sure nothing's too dark or too bright. And then with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, I just put that on all over my eye and pat that in.
And then with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, I'm going to take that and put that on my lower water lash line in the inside corner of my eye and pat that in. It'll give you a nice highlight. And then with my NYX Crimson Amulet Collection, inspired by the Dark Shadows movie, I'm going to take the bright orange, which I love because it's such a pretty color, and I'm going to just put that on my eyelid, excluding that white part that we just filled in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And then I'm going to take my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and mix the colors Erotica and Cocoa Puff together to create a nice dark shimmery brown. And just put that on in the crease and fan out so you get kind of a cat eye look going on. Then with my Wet n Wild Coal Brown eye pencil, I'm going to take that and draw a thin line top and bottom. And those are my eyelash colors from Lancome, Cardi Eyelashes. And then with my Maybelline the Turbo Volume Mascara, mascara <laughs> I'm going to take that and just apply generously as my first coat. And then with my Lancome Hypnose Drama, just apply that as my second coat. And now my Maybelline Baby Lips in the color Pink Punch. Just put that on lightly on your lips. And then with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, just spray that on your face. And voila, the makeup is done. Now moving on to the hair. This is really simple. Pebbles hair is really just, you know, put it up in a ponytail. I just took some of the hair on my crown and I put it up in a ponytail. I put it up all the way through and you could put a bone up there. But since this, but since this was kind of more of a glamorous look, I decided just to leave it kind of blank. Um, and you can straighten her, your hair if you want it like that or you can poof it up more. Uh, depending upon how you wanted it, but my hair is already curly and poofy, so I just kept it how it is. Okay, so for jewelry, I kept it really simple. I just have these bone earrings I got off Amazon.com. Actually, my boyfriend got them for me, so that's all I pretty much wore. You can wear like a gold bracelet if you want to. I know when I'm walking around in my outfit, I'm wearing my gold bracelet from Ted Baker, but that's pretty much all I wore. I didn't wear a necklace or a ring or anything. So now for my outfit. My dress is just from the Charlotte Ruse, and it's cheetah print, and it's got kind of a 50s vibe going on with the uh, sides and stuff like that. And I really like it, and uh, it contours my body really well, kind of hides my flaws. And for shoes, I just wear some cheetah print booties, just because she is a cave woman still. So, yes, and I believe my inspiration for this outfit was just kind of pebbles, like in her teenage years. I know her outfit, she's got a different outfit from that, but I figure she's going on a night out with Bam Bam or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and this was my take on my teenage glamorous Pebbles Flintstone. So I hope you guys enjoyed again, and thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween!